GTNP. Special variability. Thor. I switched polygons. <laughs> Are we okay? An interesting scientist. Cool. Frozen ground engineering. Very cold. Is that not what you're looking for, was it? Just permafrost is everything for me. I don't know. Mosquitoes. Climate change. Alfred Wickler Institute. Tough to research. I'm very worried to get lost. So this poster is about um, rapid pulsar decay in northern Finland. Uh, my work is mainly on mapping uh, soil organic carbon. Well, we're looking at a soil chemistry perspective to permafrost. That building cracked, another building cracked. We want it to go longer. We don't want it to disappear. That story says that we can still reduce most of the carbon emissions coming from the permafrost. Frost region. It's not being solved yet. It looks like a very complicated place. I think this is what this conference is all about, is getting all these different components, disciplines, themes, topics, to meet and to exchange knowledge to actually face the different challenges that society has to deal with. Bridging the gap between scientists and local communities. It gives me a, a, a mind wide open to this now, so i got to bring that back home. It's a great pleasure for me to present the, you the recipient of the IPA's Lifetime Achievement Award. And that will not just undermine that little guy, but can spread into the structures uh, nearby. That turned out to be a gold mine. It's actually possible, you know, with just a few grams of sediments to obtain DNA sequences. The people on the left hand side should move a little bit closer to the center. We already see that the Arctic is warming two to three times faster than the rest of the world. I think the best thing we can do is uh, limit our fossil fuel. Because uh... it's not actually that easy to communicate about something that you can't see or touch. <laughs> now when I think about ice wedges, I think about oog and I think about soccer. I have to get that out of my mind. So we are losing all the paleoecological record as a result of losing the permafrost. And I think there we're just starting to, to understand and to be able to model that. And we could see during this conference that there were a lot of new measurement techniques. It's important to be mobile, it's important to be flexible. <laughs> I've heard from most or all of the participants they really liked it and it was a success. So all the organization things, the technical things, food, uh, events and social events was really good and all people liked it very much.